Hello everyone, it's Sasha here and Art Fischler School channel. I'm happy to see you and today we're gonna paint with watercolor this beautiful golden retriever dog. So please prepare the colors and let's start. First, tape the paper on your table, it's important, then prepare the sketch. I did it before I started filming, so uh, you can just find the picture I've been using for this in description or you can follow my Patreon link. Uh, I'm sharing some line art here and also I'm giving my feedback. So uh, please feel free to uh, support me on Patreon and I will support you. Uh, let's help each other. And now uh, we just can start it with colors. So first wet the head of the dog and uh, then we need to make a base color for this. So I'm gonna use yellow okra and a little bit of red brown color to first make a very light light layer everywhere usually watercolor painting um, it's making in three layers here we will might uh, do a little bit more because we will work with the uh, texture of the wool of the dog and it would be a little bit more detailization but it still will be near the three layers. That's why it's very important to use special watercolor paper. So the next is shadows. For shadows, I'm using ultramarine color mixed with dark brown. You can see I'm uh, making shadows under the ear and on the left side of the face of the dog. Here I'm mixing something in between of those colors of light and shadows and I'm doing uh, a little bit more shadow but on the ear now. On top of the eye. And here I'm already uh, trying to make some texture of the wool for the dog. Uh, my brush is uh, quite flat, so it's perfect to make background and uh, those lines too. And while it's uh, getting dry, I will uh, use some ultramarine color and some cool green to make a background for this dog. So be careful uh, making outlines of the dog. Uh, also, guys, you can find on my Patreon the um, reference I've been doing from, but also I will put the link all in the in description here, so you can find the picture I've been painting from. Okay, we are done now with the uh, background and now we are ready to make some more uh, things for the dog. So first, we will do uh, some more uh, texture for the hair and in this uh, case I am gonna use sometimes half dry brush. So what that mean? Uh, first I am a little bit wet in the ear 
a little bit wet in the head of the dog I'm just using water now but not too much and I'm taking some color uh, it's um, something in between of the dark brown red brown and yellow okra and now I'm making small lines and some uh, let's say half shadows under the eye and everywhere on the left side of the head and I'm using sometimes uh, paper tissue to make my brush not too uh, not too wet Here you need to understand that light is coming from the right side so that means on top of her head it's gonna be light and on the left on the right side sorry on the right side we can see the right side right uh, that would be like a half shadow and the most deep shadows gonna be under exactly under the ear so now I'm using half dry brush to make this texture you can see I'm taking some color it's again dark brown and ultramarine. I'm using it somewhere and my brush be becomes now a little bit more dry. And that's how I can make this effect of uh, when I'm doing only one brush stroke, but I have uh, at least like, I don't know, five, um, five lines, five very small lines. And I've added now a little bit more purple on uh, in my brown so that's how my brush looks like and that's how I can do different yeah again it's different lines but making with just one brush stroke Okay, so now we are working on the forehead and here I'd like to make a little bit like half shadows. It's very very light and transparent color, uh, but still it's important. We are making it in the middle of the head and a little bit showing um, the left eye of the dog, but we can see really the eye, we can see only skin around. And here we are also making half shadow on the first plan. Uh, we actually gonna work with uh, those colors only till the end. So I'd recommend you to mix them a little bit more and just follow my uh, instructions, follow what I'm doing here. 
step by step uh, and please always check the reference you've been you are painting from and be ready that it's not gonna be a copy and that's totally fine it shouldn't be a, a copy it just needs to be beautiful and interesting picture and the main uh, the most important thing uh, uh, the dog should looks like exactly golden retriever dog and uh, one more thing you need to think about is form so you need to be very careful and clear with the shadows and uh, lights under the head what I'm doing now we need to put a little bit more intensive and dark color here it's uh, red brown and a little bit of yellow okra under the ear we are doing the same I would like to add a little bit more color on the ear and here we can work with the shadows a little bit more intensive now so now it's like second layer now we are working with the deep shadows we are showing the texture of the wool and here you can turn your brush in different ways and you can see when I'm uh, when I need to blend colors I'm always a little bit dry in my brush on the this paper napkin And here under the ear I'm making even more dark color and doing some small brush strokes to blend this deep shadow to the full head of the dog. So if you're making a very dark and intensive line you need to blend it always with the uh, things around because it cannot be only line, it should be always some tone. And here on the ear we are also doing some more lines and now I will be almost always working with the, this texture of the dog's hair still yeah you see I put my brush on the side and with almost dry brush I'm doing those brush strokes lines everywhere Now I'm making the first layer for the nose, it's still transparent and uh, light color and it's it was uh, dark brown plus a little bit more of ultramarine because shadows are usually um, cool and there is some reflections from our background, making a holes in the nose and line in between. And here you can see that nose is from three different surfaces, it's top part its front part and side and front part has shadow yeah but top is on the light so it should be a little bit lighter on the eye I'm making uh, first some yellow um, color and then just uh, black outlines and black spot in and here under the nose I would like now to make a little bit more shadows with the eye 
I will work more with the um, black pen too but now I feel like I would like to make it a bit bigger and I need shadow under the eye and um, closer to the nose also now you can see that my top part of the nose is a little bit too big so later I'd like to make it a little bit smaller yeah now I added the shadow uh, around the eyes there is always shadows because uh, I um, like a little bit inside so we need to show the shadows out outside everywhere outside of the eye and now step by step I'm just adding more and more and more shadows what you should do is always look on your reference and uh, understand do you need to add something or you feel like it's already enough so it's always um, it's like handwork <laughs> but it's more uh, brain work you need to always understand by yourself do you need to do something else or not so now I made shadow between of the eyes to show that it's like another surface and now it's time for me to work with the black pen uh, I can make some more details I can make this eye a little bit bigger and shadows a little bit uh, closer to the nose too because I feel like it needs to be a little bit bigger here And just step by step I'm making all the details around the uh, lips and um, everywhere I'm adding some more uh, hairs and everywhere where was shadows I'm just making like double double lines like double shadows those uh, dots I'm making on a little bit wet paper I think I need a little bit more attention to the eyes and also uh, guys don't be scared to put too much black because after in the end we will do some white uh, details too so now you can be really um, feel free to make shadows as much as you want dark
and for the white color I will, I'm using the, the smallest brush I have but it's quite long and here I'm making whiskers and also some light uh, like outlines for the dog and of course we should follow the hair uh, things also I would like to add some reflections in the eye on the nose it will make it uh, looking wet glands and uh, more alive so here basically we are making a very beautiful and interesting contrast between of the shadows and lights and it looks like uh, always wow effect it looks always like 3d so don't be scared to make a contrast really big and really intensive and interesting also uh, don't forget that those white things should be like in outlines they are showing the light outside I like to make a little bit more intensive my background and also I would like to work a little bit more here on the right side of the dog's face to um, put it a little bit more in the shadow but it doesn't mean that you should do exactly the same because sometimes I need to add some more details but you had them uh, already and uh, just feel free to understand what's best for your picture now and I'm untaping my picture and that's the result thank you so much for being with me here uh, please don't forget to subscribe and to uh, like my video if that was really helpful for you please don't forget to um, comment if you're interested in some specific themes uh, I will pay attention on your uh, opinion and I will do them more maybe and please, if you would like to learn a little bit more, there is a link on my Patreon. Uh, there is a three different options, actually even a little bit more, but three are main. And you can subscribe me and get some feedbacks. You can get from me some references I'm painting from, some more inspiration and um, yeah, let's support each other. Thank you so much for being with me and goodbye, see you on the next videos.